G'day everybody and Happy New Year. Um, first up in our 2020 video series is just a, a really quick one and it's uh, as a few of you may have seen I've been uh, trialing and testing the Outlook PWA, uh, the Progressive Web App um, and there's a little bit of integration here between Outlook and To Do that I think it's going to bring you some value uh, for those of you that are using both, um, and it's uh, it is in the browser. Uh, but let's uh, let's dig in and, and let me show you what we're what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a um, take an email and create a task in to do directly from uh, directly from the the browser window here. So as you can see, I've got uh, Outlook open in the PWA. You can see here that we've got uh, a couple of little icons here. Uh, this tick here is for to do. Uh, I've selected an email here, and when I click on this to do button, it's going to open up this uh, this panel here. And what I can do is I can directly drag and drop uh, this email straight across into this panel here, and it's going to add a task for me automatically. Um, with the associated email in to do. So if now what we do is uh, is open up to do in the browser. So let me just drag that browser window over here uh, and I'll open up to do and let's just make sure that this has worked as expected. We'll go to all apps and we'll go to to do what we should have in the task panel or the task list here is that email as a task and there we go there so we've got that task there we've got the actual email itself so we can actually open it in outlook as well um, and we uh, we can take action on it. So that's a, that's a pretty cool integration with uh, with Outlook on the web uh, and also to do. Now, if we did have another list here, um, so if I say um, uh, follow ups, and we've just added a new list here. So what we should be able to do here now is if I grab and select another email, and actually what we'll do here is we'll just flick this off and we'll flick it back on what we should be able to do also here is is now select the list so if i want to now change the list of follow-up i can then drag that and drag that across to there and that's going to add it to that follow-ups list that i just created so if i jump into to follow-ups we should see shortly that that task appear um, in that that particular list there so we'll just wait for that to come through and there it is there. So that's all we've got uh, for this episode. Um, as I said, if um, if the, the content, I've, I've posted already about uh, a newsletter that I'm going to be distributing every Monday morning uh, or Monday at some stage to your inbox. So there's gonna be a lot of content that I'm producing um, over the coming year, both here on LinkedIn and also across multiple other channels. Uh, so if you want to stay up to date and stay connected uh, with the content that I'm publishing, hopefully it's, it's bringing you some value, um, then please subscribe to that. I'll put the link in the, uh, in the post itself uh, and jump on and subscribe. Uh, but I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. See ya.